Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Finishing Blow. Holy cow, this week was insane. Like, I know I said that a lot, but this week was truly crazy. I've got a ton of topics I need to cover, so I'm just going to straight on through. And I may not cover them as, as much detail as I want to, so check out the articles on Marshworth Movie Junkie, because I'm going to be going kind of fast. Alright, so first off, international trailer for The Grandmasters. And depending on what you think about the film, you may or may not like the trailer, I think that it does a good job of setting the tone for what the film is going to be. I don't think it's going to be purely martial arts. And you get to see the drama aspect of it, like what the film is going to be about, who the characters are, <clears throat> the interactions between them. So I think that's really great. I think that the film actually sold me on it. I, I wasn't really too interested in it, and I still think that there's going to be a lot of slow-mo and beauty shots in the film, but this trailer made me interested in it, so check it out, see what you think, moving on. <laughs> I Seriously though, after like 10 minutes, the video starts to stutter, so I'm trying to just knock them out as I can, as I go. What am I talking about? Alright, let's do this. Next up, I found an interview with Andy on about the special identity with Donnie Yen, and I just went ahead and took the, the section out about where he talks about fighting with Donnie, the 10 minute fight scene where it's like really hard hitting and it's one of the most intense fights that he's ever done. That is awesome. I think it's going to be very Flashpoint like and I think that there's going to be a lot of things that people are going to compare it to including Flashpoint with that last fight with Donnie against Colin Chow or Cho. So I'm excited for it. Um, you can read the whole review or not review article on I think it's Movies with Butter. I put the link in the original article, give it a look, but I really feel like Donnie and the crew have done a lot to get rid of that negative light um, that existed for Special Identity, and I think that it's going to be an amazing film. I'm really excited for it. Alright, so following that up on Tuesday, I did another fight of the week with The Messenger uh, featuring Real Deal. I don't want to talk too much about it now because I think you guys should just check it out, so... Check out the fight of the week, which is actually just a, a side article. I didn't even make it its own thing because I wrote about some new cast members for Brandau. Now, I don't remember their names, but it's three Japanese actors. And they're going to be playing, they say Japanese gangsters, which I immediately think Yakuza. Um, or Yakuza, if you want. But it's just like, I, I can't imagine how all of this is tied together. Like, you have like the Indonesian gangs, and then you've got Yakuza or Japanese gang members in there too, like is it just, are they representing a bigger group, or is it just going to be these three guys happen to be in this gang, I don't know. I'm interested in it, I think that Gareth Evans is hyped about it, and I, I can't wait to see who all they get in this film. And the thing is, like it's a trilogy, so they're going to have to have a couple, you know, trump cards for the end, and I know they're going to just let it all out at the end, but this next film, uh, Barandal, is the one that I'm really looking forward to because it's the one that Gareth Evans originally wanted to make anyways. So the raid was kind of an afterthought, if you will, because they needed to get money for Barandal. So now that they can make the film that they wanted to initially, I think it's going to be really good. So I'm excited for that. So more cast members, it's pff, more people to fight. Ico is going to be very busy. All right. Following that article up was the 32nd annual Hong Kong Film Award nominations. Um, I'm not going to cover the entire list because it's insane, so you can check it out on my website. But one of the big question marks that I had was the viral factor. It got nominated for a lot more things than I thought it would, if at all. Um, I remember watching the movie, and I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was that great of a film. And it got nominated for a lot of things. Now, the two big ones were The Cold War and The Bullet Vanishes, which I haven't seen either one, and I need to. But those were the two that got the most nominations. But then you've got, like, uh, Chinese Zodiac, Tai Chi Zero, um, kind of the martial arts side of things uh, taking command as well. Like, Best Action Choreography, I'm really curious about that one. Um, I don't think The Viral Factor's going to win. Chinese Zodiac has a chance... But I don't know. I mean, it's really tough to say. that It's it's very splitting, um, the people who have seen it. So I don't know if it's going to get best choreography or not. I hope so. I hope that Jackie gets 
uh, recognition for a film for the first time in a while, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. So read the whole list. There's a ton of stuff. Best graphics, um, soundtrack, uh, a ton of different ones. So I'll be sure to list the uh, winners as soon as I find them out, but check it out and see who uh, you think is going to win the most awards. All right, so... Whew, I'm just going to just give me a second because I did kind of blitz through everything and I still got a few more to go, but not as much as I thought I did. All right. Shannon Nick podcast. I told you guys that I did another podcast with the guys and it's up and you can listen to it now. It sounds better. It's better quality than it was. Uh, I think it had to do with the Skype thing. We tried to do it via Skype and it just it was really hard to do. So if you like podcasts, check it out. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope that I can go back and do more with the guys, but it just depends on scheduling and work and the website. So we'll see how it goes, but you should definitely check it out. I had a lot of fun doing it. Okay, on top of that, because that was another just by-the-way post, um, Police Story 2013 finished filming. It's done. Like, they had a wrap-up party and everything. What? Like, I... I don't understand. It's ridiculous how quick that movie got done. And there's a slight concern um, because my initial thing is that, like, there must not be a lot of fighting in it. And this is just a guess. But the fact that they finished so fast um, makes me wonder how much fighting is actually in it um, and how much of that police story name is actually going to be in the, in the uh, film. I think it's going to be more of a dramatic film um, because of the fact that it finished so quickly. Maybe they busted their butts off and maybe it's got a lot of action in it. I would be amazed. But who knows? Maybe Jackie's um, focusing his energy on his dramatic, what, presence, I guess. And we'll see him in a different light. But I've heard a lot of things about it. Um, I just don't know what to expect. And I guess that's the best thing, is that I don't know what to expect. Because with Chinese Zodiac, I knew what I was getting. I There was so much hype about it, so much talk about it. Um, a lot of stuff was given away, like in the trailers. So maybe not knowing enough is actually a good thing. I don't know. So tw Police Story 2013, they had a teaser poster. Um, but right now, that's all we got is the teaser poster and the fact that they're done filming. All right. Following all of that up. My review for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And it's uh, a week late because I wanted to do it earlier, but I didn't have time to watch it. Um, but I did it because of the fact that the sequel's coming out. And I wanted to rewatch Crouching Tiger. I hadn't seen it since uh, I saw it first, I think, in high school. And back then, I was very against wire work. Um, I didn't like any movie that had to do with wire work. I wanted it to be to be like real and gritty like on Bach or you know the Jackie Chan films um, even some of the Jet Li movies I didn't like as much went back and rewatched it and it's really interesting how you can see different things when you become more seasoned I guess I don't want to say older but when you've seen so many films and experienced so many different like story arcs and themes and you go back to it and you kind of see what was really there I still think that it's a little bit overrated. Um, I don't think it's as fantastic of a film as other people think. There's the whole Crouching Tiger and Hero debate, um, which I'm not really going to say too much right now because I need to rewatch Hero as well. But, um, you know, I think the Crouching Tiger really set that first step for the industry, for that genre. And so you can't fault it for that. So you can read my full review, see what I thought about it, agree or disagree, whatever you want, go for it. All right, and lastly, a quick last-minute post um, thanks to, I believe it was Danny Ho, and he posted on my, uh, on my Facebook page some images of Donnie Yen standing on a bus, like police story style. And so I had to jump at the opportunity, and I went ahead and wrote an article about it. Now, I, I'm a huge Jackie Chan fan, and I'm not going to go on that bad one game. I'm not going to say, oh, he's ripping it off, or oh, he's doing this and this. I have no idea. It's a picture of Johnny Yen harnessed down on top of a bus, and that's all it is. It could be like New Police Story where the bus goes through the city. It could be a two or three second shot of Donnie maybe jumping from bus to bus or something, and they're just rigging him into that spot. So I'm not going to go on this whole tangent and say that like Donnie Yen's ripping off Jackie Chan. No, not at this point. I'm not going to do that. Um, I mean, if he does, I'll go on that little, you know tangent, I guess, um, like Bad Boys 2 and Police Story. I was so bummed about that. Like, 
you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I sat in the theaters enjoying the whole movie, and that happens, and I was so bummed. So, Darnian on a bus does not automatically equal police story, but a lot of people will be thinking of police story when they see it. So, feel free to sound off on that, and if you guys have any cool info, uh, feel free to <coughs> post it on my website or um, on my Facebook page or message me, whatever. I will do my best to give you the credit. Um, and have like a quick turnaround. It just depends. Um, today or when I wrote the article, I had a little bit more time, so I could have done it. But it just depends. Like sometimes work does not cooperate with me, which I'm sure you guys can figure out depending on when I post my articles. But I have a lot of fun, and I'm not gonna stop. So I, I just don't see any time of slowing down. I'm just gonna try and add more stuff. I, I feel like you guys like the fight of the week, um, and you enjoy my reviews, so I'm gonna keep doing them, and I'll try to push out more content when I can, but just stay with me and we'll see where it goes. So that's it. 11 minutes. I don't know how many topics I covered, way more than I usually do, and I know I talked a lot faster than I should. Check out the website, click on the links, and read them at your own speed, and I hope you guys had a fun and awesome week and it wasn't as hectic as mine was, but that's that's what's fun about this is the fact that I can write different stuff and all this news comes in and you know, the fact that you guys catch things that I miss, I love it. I, I just, it's awesome to me. So, you guys have an awesome week, and I guess I will see you on Tuesday if you watch the fight of the week, and otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.